There are 41 rare cars in Drive Ahead, and today I'm going to be ranking every single one of them. So let's hop right into it. Starting at number 41, we got the Earl Launcher. This car pretty much just plain sucks. It's really small, flimsy. It has a little ghost that throws cars into the air, but overall, just a terrible car. Uh, next up is the Mantis Shrimp. This car is very unstable, and you can still get hit, even though it looks like you have good protection from the front, so that's why it's so low. Next, we have the Eggmobile. I'm ranking this car based on how good the actual egg car is, not how good it is when it transforms. It can be good when it transforms, but the actual egg part of the car itself sucks pretty bad. All right, next up, we got the Catterdog Sled. This car just doesn't have good stability. It's pretty flimsy, and it's really easy to get hit from the back, and really, the front, too. Now, number 37, we have the dog sled. This is pretty much just like the catter dog sled. It just has a little more reach in the front. You can get up on top of some taller cars with it, but it's still pretty small and not a very good car. Number 36 is the helmet car. This car kind of has a narrower base, so it makes it tip over really easy. The head on this car is also very exposed, and it doesn't have great height either. Number 35 is the pterodactyl. This car just got a buff with its flying ability, so now you can control when you want to fly. It's still a pretty small car, though, and the flight can make it out of control, so that's why I'm ranking it so low on this list. Number 34 is the Hog. This car also just got a new upgrade with its new Nitro ability. It's still a small car, though, and the thruster can get you into a lot of trouble. All right, next up we got the pumpkin car. This car is very flimsy and it's not great at climbing walls. The tires are just, they bounce around a lot and that's why it's so low on this list. All right, now for number 32, we have the dancing lion. This car is pretty small and doesn't have great speed and its protection is decent, but overall it's just not a great car. All right, next we have the soccer cannon. Now this car can kill itself with the soccer balls. It has pretty good back protection and it's a pretty enclosed car. The reason it's so low is just because of how small it is and it can kill itself. Next up at number 30, we have the snowball bike. This car does not have great back protection, but its front protection is pretty decent. It also shoots snowballs, which can kill enemies. So that's why it's kind of mid on the list. All right, right after that, we have the Snowball Cannon. It's pretty much the same car. It's just the cannons in the back, and it has a little bit wider base, so it's a little bit better protection. Next up, at number 28, we have the Hovercraft. This car has the amphibian trait, so it can float on water. It has decent protection, but it's so small that most cars can get on top of it and kill it anyway. That's why it is number 28. Number 27 is the Tentabot. This car is extremely flimsy and it has arms that can work for it. If you're facing smaller cars, it can easily, it has pretty good reach, but against bigger cars, this car stands no chance. Number 26, we have the Cherry Picker. This could possibly be the tallest car in the game and that's a disadvantage on enclosed maps such as this one. It has a very exposed head and most of the time that's what ends up killing it. All right, number 25 is the Bulldozer. This car is the armor trait and it's pretty heavy and slow. It can push other cars around well, but it's very bad at climbing walls just because of how heavy it is. So that's why it's about midway on this list. All right, next up at number 24, we have the Coupe. I think that's how you pronounce it. This car is Godspeed and it's just kind of a smaller and skinnier car, but it's Godspeed does give it an advantage. All right, number 23 is the Travel Trailer. This car can use this trailer to kind of pull a wheelie, but it has really bad front protection, even if the back protection is really good. And you can get on top of some bigger cars, so overall pretty decent car. Number 22 is the Allosaurus. This is one of the smaller dinosaur cars. It has pretty good speed and decent protection, but it's kind of a has a height disadvantage and it's a little bit flimsy. Number 21 is the Stegosaurus, another dinosaur car. This actually used to be epic. It just got changed to rare, and it has the armor trait, so it's immune to knockback. But it's not great at climbing walls, and its head is very out in the open. Number 20 is the Taurus Bus. This is another car with a very exposed head, though sometimes its height advantage is enough to 
keep it from being killed by a bunch of other smaller cars and it has pretty decent speed as well. At number 19 is the Hippie Van. This car has excellent back protection and it has a semi-enclosed head and it has pretty decent speed and size as well so overall it's kind of like a basic car but pretty good. Alright number 18 is the Police Car. This car has really good speed and air control as well. You can usually pull a wheelie with this car, get on top of some bigger cars, and its head is not too exposed. Number 17 is the gunboat. This car has a really powerful cannon, I guess, on the front of it that shoots explosive missiles. It also has the amphibian trait, so it explodes. And it's really good at knocking other the tires off your opponent's cars, so overall pretty good car. Number 16 is the prison van. This car like drags a little prisoner behind it. It can actually kill some smaller cars, making it fairly useful. The head's not too exposed, but it doesn't have the greatest front protection, but it does have really good back protection. Number 15 is the landfill truck. This truck has a bunch of boulders that can fall out of it and really mess up your enemies, but they can also mess you up and get stuck in your tires. It's a little annoying. Um, overall, really good back protection, just like some of those other cars. That's why it's high. All right, the tanker truck is gonna be our number 14 car. This car has one of the best back protections in the game. It can pull a really nice wheelie using the semi back half of the truck, and its front protection is pretty decent as well. All right, the minibus is number 13. This is kind of another one of those average cars. It has pretty good speed, good back protection, not as great front protection, and overall, just a solid car. All right, next up we have the ambulance at number 12. This is almost the exact same as the minibus, really, just a tiny bit bigger. And the little patient in the back of the ambulance can really glitch out sometimes, making it better. All right, at number 11, we have the off-road truck. This car is a little lower to the ground, and it can pull a good wheelie. It has a better front protection than those past few cars, and really good back protection as well. Number 10 is the ice cream van. The ice cream cone on top of this car can fall off and really mess up the other cars. This car has a height advantage over most cars in the game, I would say. And even if the ice cream cone falls off, it's still a good car. Number 9 is Formula. This car is kind of like the coupe as the Godspeed trait. It's just bigger and longer. And it's a little bit faster too. And it makes it really useful for taking out your opponents. You can pull a wheelie and get on their head. Number eight is the asphalt paver. This car is kind of under underrated. It has like the little paver thing in the back, giving it good pack protection. It has really good front protection also. A very enclosed head and it has decent speed as well, which is why it's so high on this list. Number seven is the brass bike. This car just got added to the rare category. It was just common before. It has an insane boost that you can use to fly into the air, and now that you can control it with the new nitro trait, this just makes this car pretty overpowered, and you can hop on your enemies. Alright, next up at number 6, we have the Hexabot, number 6 for 6 arms, very fitting. Now this car is extremely annoying and hard to hit in Battle Arena and really any other mode. You can rush at your opponent and not have to worry about getting your head hit. Number five is the Christmas tree. This car has insane back protection, and it's another one of those underrated cars. It has the winter tires trait, so it's good on snowy maps, and it's almost impossible to hit from the back. The front protection is not great, but it's a great car. Number four is the rocket launcher. This car is insane on enclosed maps because the rocket shoots and it doesn't explode instantly. It just bounces around, taking out a ton of enemies. And while the rocket's still attached, it gives you insane protection from the back and really above your head. And this car is just really good. Number three is the toxic waste truck. This car has really good mobility and protection. It also has a really interesting trait that makes these sludge balls that grow bigger and bigger and eventually explode. And they can really damage your enemies. And honestly, this truck is just super unique and a really good truck. So I highly recommend using it. Number two is the Rock Wheel. In my opinion, the best saw car in the game that we did just get the sawfish, so we'll have to see. It You can pull a wheelie with the saw on the back, and also the saw on the back is super useful for taking out your enemy's tires. Has good front protection too, good stability, and overall a really good car. Number one is the Speedboat, the bigger version of the Amphibian. We all know it. We all hate it in Battle Arena when you're going against it. But 
it's just like the amphibian the best common car but bigger longer and faster and the rotor of course is really good for knocking back your enemies and overall it's the best rare car but anyway if you like this video subscribe i'll see you in the next one